Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. So in our previous video, we have covered a kind of introduction to the default methods and we understood why do we need default methods. We have also seen some of the problems that arises with the default methods in case of multiple inheritance. We also covered how default methods are different from the abstract classes and how they are different from the regular methods. So in case you have missed it, just click on the link mentioned in the i button. So in this video, we'll learn about another interesting concept that is static methods. So in this video, we'll learn what are static methods, what is the role of static methods in an interface, what are the rules that are associated with a static method in context to interfaces, and some of the examples of static methods. So what are static methods? A static methods is a method that belongs to a class rather than the object. A static method can be invoked without the need of creating an instance of a class. A static method can access a static data member and can change the value of it. So every instance of a class shares a single copy of static methods. Till Java 7, you can only define abstract method within the interface. But from Java 8 onwards, you can write concrete methods in an interface. You can also write static methods inside the interface. So what are static methods inside the interface? Is it different from the static methods of the classes? So the answer to this question is, defining a static method within an interface is identical to the defining the one in the classes. Moreover, a static method can be invoked within the other static or default methods. Static method in an interface are those methods which are defined in the interface with the keyword static. Unlike other methods in the interface, these static methods contain the complete definition of the function. And since the definition is complete and method is declared as static, then we can not overwrite this method or change the implementation in the implementation class. So, why do we need uh, static methods? So the answer to this is, suppose you want to provide some implementation in your interface and you don't want this implementation to be overridden in the implementing class. Then what you can do is, you can declare that method as static. So the idea behind static interface method is to provide a simple mechanism that allows us to increase the degree of cohesion of a design by putting together related methods in a single place without having to create an object. The same can be pretty much done with the abstract classes, but the main difference is that abstract class can have constructor, state and behavior. So there are some rules that are associated with the static methods in context to the interfaces. So let's look at them. To create a static method, we need to use the keyword static. Another importance of static method is just to define general utility methods or club them at a single place, static method should be used. Furthermore, static methods in interface makes it possible to group related utility methods without having to create artificial utility classes that are simply placeholders for these methods. Overriding concept is not applicable in static methods. You can still define the same method, but it will not be considered as overriding. Static methods cannot access non-static methods. You can't declare a method as static and default at the same time. So there is no default static method. Any class can call the static method of an interface by using the interface name, whether they implement it or not. Static methods can be invoked only by the interface name. It cannot be invoked by the implementing class name. You can declare main method inside the interface and it will compile successfully and you can run it also. Which means now it is possible to add public static void main method in an interface and it means that you can execute an interface also. So let us consider a simple program to understand what are static methods. Here we have an interface, interface 1, which has two static methods defined in it. From the main class, we can directly invoke or call these static methods. 
This code will compile successfully and print the statement from both the methods. So now let's locate these into the actions. So here I have an interface one. It has two methods, method one, which is a static method and method two, which is also a static method. So in my main method, what I'll do is I'll directly call these methods. Let me just compile this code, Java C, demo static dot Java, and let me run it. So it will print all these statements. So this was it for today. Today we have covered another interesting topic that is static methods. In our upcoming video, we'll pick another features from the Java 8. If you have any doubts, you can ping them into the comment section. So I hope you like this video. So do like, share and subscribe. Stay tuned for yet another videos on Java 8. Till then, take care and thank you for watching.